if we move over to Mega Man 2, in the intro. So, we go back on the main camera. If you've realised, this is the same as the ending theme for Mega Man 1. So that's a really cool little tie-in between the two games. And then this is obviously the unique theme. Ready? Such an awesome tune. Alright, here's Mega Man 2. We have a newly redesigned menu with eight Robot Masters instead of six. Obviously, we begin with Metal Man. A really, really fun stage. I guess I should change Twitch round to say Mega Man 2 instead of Mega Man 1. Mega Man 2. I don't know how to do that on YouTube, so YouTube will just be permanently stuck on Mega Man 1. Hey, Savvy1235. You actually just um, missed the end of Mega Man 1. And now we're moving on to Mega Man 2, and already we have something new to the series. Um, which is the E-Tank. And the controls have actually been much improved over the first game as well. And if you have the Flash Stopper from Flashman, you can actually just use that here and just skip this bit out completely. And I always used to think you could jump through the chains, but I don't think you can, despite the fact that the bullets can go through them. But we can get whatever health we lost right back here with these little screw things. Because this is like an unlimited resource for items. And the exact same thing happens in Mega Man and Base. Where you've got a corridor full of these screws. There we go, now we're back up to full health. You can keep jumping there to get a little bit further over. So, how many people in the chat have played Mega Man 2 before? Not many people have played Mega Man 1, which was quite surprising. You definitely need to do that if you haven't played it before. It's an amazing game. They're all amazing games. Yeah, I always just skip those enemies out because they're just annoying. And um, one of the enemies coming up here in a minute is actually an enemy that was... I'm not used to being able to kill them in one hit. I guess I usually play on difficult. Those enemies there, if you shoot them, they turn into springs. That was actually an enemy that didn't get used in the first game. Because if you look at the concept art for it, you can actually see that they were planning to use that in Mega Man 1, which is really cool. And yeah, unlike Mega Man 1, you don't have a little bit of stage in between the end of the stage and the beginning of the boss. I know Metal Man is kind of ridiculously easy. You can just stand in the corner and dodge the, uh, the blades. And it'll go down, no problem. There we go, he's already dead. Super, super easy first level. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And we get this new little cutscene in between the stages too. You've only played Mega Man games on the Game Boy. They're pretty good, apart from Mega Man 2. Uh, where we go next? Let's go to Airman. The character who has an awesome fan song. Dun, 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 dun. And the music in Mega Man 2 is just amazing as well. Airman stage is kind of annoying because of these slowly moving head things, which really annoy me. I guess what we can do now, now that we've got Metal Man, is just equip that for the rest of the game because it's the best weapon in the game by far. 
but enjoy this music. It's so cool. These clouds are kind of like those floating platforms from the first game, except now they actually follow a set pattern, which I wish they did originally, because I hate them in the first game, because they're just moving completely at random. Now we get to kill loads of tiny birds when they come out of an egg. <laughs> it's a good way of getting loads of health and ammo and stuff. I love this song so much. And then we get weird worms that come out of tubes for some reason. I have no idea what that is. Like, what is it even... What is it even... What does it represent? What is it? It's just a tube that makes worms in the sky. Like, aren't these robots supposed to be useful for something? Isn't that the whole point? Oh, I jumped a bit too soon then. Oh well. Now we get to see Metal Man's little minions who have the fans in their stomachs. Kind of like <laughs> weird Teletubbies. Oh no! Ah, that was my own fault. I knew I wouldn't be able to make that jump. Why did I do that? I was thinking about playing the Game Boy Mega Man games again. I think... Oh my god! I think they've just come out on the Switch, haven't they? That'd be a good chance to revisit them. I really enjoyed them back in the day, especially... Well, I only had the first two back in the day, and then after that I went back and picked up the other ones on the Game Boy. I actually did a Let's Play of Mega Man 3 on the Game Boy a long time ago, like in 2000 and... Oh my god, why am I struggling? I managed to play through the entire first game, no problem. And I can't even get past Airman's stage. What? What's wrong with me? Technically, you can jump on the other side of those heads. Right there on the end. But it's, uh... It's risky. I'm gonna try. Nah, you have to be really, really precise. I'm gonna wait for it to come back round though. Okay, if he respawns, sorry. Metal blade. A hundred metal blades apparently. Oh my god! I went onto the wrong platform then. This bit's so boring, why can't you just have the magnet from Mega Man 1 still? That'd be cool, actually, if you could carry on all the weapons over from the previous game. Imagine if it gave you a password or something, and you just had access to all the previous weapons. Need health! Give me everything but... Really? Seriously? What? There was a little one there, but it didn't even let me pick it up. These worms are going to give me health, are they? There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Let's attempt these annoying heads again then. I don't even know what these are as well. Like, what is the use of these? Oh my god! The timing is just wrong on them. <sighs> Mega Man 1 is so much easier than Mega Man 2.
Don't even care anymore. Uh, really? Maybe I just have to brute force my way through like that instead. God, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get past this stage, am I? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I managed to complete Mega Man 1. And only died once. Or only lost one set of lives, I guess. Let's see if I can just force my way through this. That was close. Right, it's not like it's gonna tell you off for forcing your way through, because there's like unlimited items everywhere. Oh my god, have we made it? We made it! Finally! Again, Mega Buster is probably the easiest way of killing him. You can use the Leaf Shield as well, I think. Wow, he's really easy. I guess that's because I'm playing on normal instead of difficult. Compared to the stage himself, he's such a pushover. If you play this on the PAL version, this bit's so slow, it's like dun 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 dun. Even on the Wii Virtual Console, we had to put up with it being really, really slow. We got item two. This is before you get rush. So instead you just get like weird red ability upgrade things. Oh, I wish you could skip the screen. Like it's cool that it tells you what you got, but in Mega Man 1 it just gave you the things instantly. Uh, Crash Man. We can use the leaves on it. The tornadoes, whatever they're called. I remember that much. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. He's got some funky music too. And again, get rid of the metal blades because they are easily the best weapon to get rid of these annoying things. Again, whatever they are. And this kind of has the same theme as Bomb Man from Mega Man 1. Those weird yellow circle things on the floor. I always like to think of them as being the same things. Um, that the buildings were made from. I can't believe I messed up already. Enjoy this funky music though. <laughs> Uh, I always kind of get bored of this part of the level. It's so... just... filler. And they do the same in Wily Stage 3 as well. I just find it all unnecessary. Make an interesting level. You can just jump from there, you don't need to wait for it to go all the way around. But yeah, not the most exciting stage. Oh wow, they just get obliterated by that. What is the point of that? One random rectangle there. I just noticed that one, the cloud doesn't go in through it, so it's just mostly blue. Sorry, guy. Ah! Okay, it still hurt me. Mega Man 2 is the overrated one. I'd have to agree, honestly. It kind of feels a bit rushed compared to all the other ones. Which, apparently it was. I prefer Mega Man 1. I know maybe that's a bit of a controversial opinion. 
But I always have more fun playing Mega Man 1 than Mega Man 2. I don't know. I'd say... If you want to know my ranking of all the NES Mega Man games, it goes... Oh, I need to think about it first. Well, Mega Man 4 at the top. I just think that one's perfect. I don't think we'll get to see it today, but... Um, oh, it's that one. Mega Man 4 as number one. Maybe... Oh, I should probably get that. Mega Man... I haven't really played it that much, but I really enjoy Mega Man 6 from what I have played. So it might go... This is going to be a weird order. I don't think anyone else would pick the games in this order. It's going to go 4, 6, 3, 1, 5, 2, I think. Yeah, I think it's going to go in that order. I used to say I really enjoyed Mega Man 5, but I actually just find it way, uh, way too easy. Oh my god. Didn't even you know, blink and you miss it and the boss is dead. I should have played it on difficult instead. This is too easy. Yeah, I find Mega Man 5 too simple. Like, there's a big portions of levels where not much happens. Um, if we're including 9 and 10 as well, 9 is definitely... They're both really good. I don't know. Anyway. I have a croissant. Let's eat. I forgot all about it, but I just started to get hungry. Um, that's probably really loud. Nine is really good. And I think it was a great way of rejuvenating the series. Um, let's do Bubble Man. Get ready to get your eyes blown out. Let's talk about the game's weaknesses. That's, that's going to be an interesting topic. Look at this background, it's just insane. Oh my god. Okay. Let me pause somewhere a bit less epilepsy inducing. Awesome music again, though. Let's wait till we're down here. It clears up a bit. They were just really showing off the ability to scroll the colours in the uh, in the sprite palette. It's not actually animated, it's just the colours changing. Which is pretty cool. And, unlike Mega Man 1, you now float in the water. A little bit. Well, let me pause there and eat the rest of this and we can discuss the weaknesses of each Mega Man game. So, Mega Man 1. Weaknesses, the controls. Definitely could have been improved. They don't feel responsive compared to the rest of them. That's probably really loud, sorry. Um, the controls don't feel as responsive compared to the rest of the series. The bits in between the boss door and getting to the boss room feel a little pointless. I guess the idea was that you would farm for items before you fought the boss, but most of the time it's just filler and you just end up killing things anyway. Mm. Yeah, we'll get to three, and the issues I have with number three. Oh my god. Yeah, what else do I not like about Mega Man 1? Um, I don't like Electman's stage, I just find it boring. The music's awesome, but the level itself, the way you have to slowly climb up the ladders, especially before you reach the boss, is just really tedious. Um, some of the weapons don't really have any use outside of the stages, like Fireman. Outside of, like, one boss fight, I never had to use the fire weapon at all. I do really like the the way the cutter and the electric beam work. Six has too much slowdown from Rush. Yeah. I, it's cool what they did with Rush in Six. But yeah, it does slow it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad you agree with me about number four. I can't really pick any faults with number four. Um. So yeah, I think... 
with Mega Man 1 at least, that's the only real downsides I can think of. The controls are a little slippery. Maybe Electman stage is a bit boring and they didn't really utilize all the weapons properly. Oh, and the scoring system is just pointless. That's a given. Oh, there's stuff inside this, that's nice. Um, just for playing the initial bosses, you play three or four. Hmm. Just for initial bosses, I think I actually picked number nine. I think nine is almost flawless, in my opinion. I don't know whether that's me just reliving the hype before that game came out and just getting so engrossed in it when it did. Ten, I feel, is a bit weird because in a lot of ways it improved on nine. And I really love the um, designs for the stages. They're very unique. You haven't played nine or ten? Oh no, you need to do that. You need to rectify that right now. They're both amazing. I love the fact that in number 10 they brought back the composers from all the previous games and gave them their own Robot Masters. Um, Minami Matsume, I think her name is from the first one, she did Nitro Man in Mega Man 10 and that is such a good theme. The music in 9 and 10 overall is just amazing. <clears throat> right. Let's get back to this. I'll share my many frustrations with Mega Man 2. And I also don't understand why Mega Man 2 is so revered in the series compared to all the other games. Can anyone explain that? Look at the weird Metroids. Why is it that Mega Man 2 is always the one that's brought up when it's not even like top 5 classic Mega Man games. Anyway, what annoys me about Mega Man 2? Um, boring level design like Crash Man. And yeah, quite a lot. Which one has my favourite soundtrack overall? Um, oh, that has to go to Mega Man 9 without a doubt. Every single song in that game is just perfection. Um, yeah, Mega Man 9, definitely. <clears throat> I really like Mega Man 2's soundtrack. Maybe that's one of the reasons why it's so well remembered, actually. I think it's... Oh, what is the weapon to use? Crush. Oh yeah, if you miss, you have to wait for it to explode. Oh my god, finally, an actual challenging fight. Oh, we ran out. Oops. And don't jump too high, because there's spikes all over the ceiling. Many people don't like the extra abilities from the new games added from 3 onwards. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like they add to the gameplay. I like having the slide and the charge shot. And I actually like all the rush adapter things from Mega Man 6 as well. But I can see from a purity point of view why people like number 2. But from that point of view, Mega Man 9 is just a better Mega Man 2 in every way. So why you would pick Mega Man 2 over Mega Man 9, I have no idea. Unless it's just nostalgia. But even if you're playing for purity, I think Mega Man 1's more fun to play. But I get it. Now that you've said it like that. I get it. So now we took out the water boss, now we can go and fight the fire one! And this stage is really annoying. I think Iceman from Mega Man 1, but ten times more frustrating. Awesome music again, though. That's like a weird upgraded version of that enemy from Iceman that throws its head at you. Yeah, 
How cool is this music though? Like, the composer did an incredible job. I don't remember these patterns at all. Okay, that's an easy one. I remember I used to play this game so much in college, I actually used to play it all the way through on my iPod Touch. Imagine playing this with touch controls. Okay, I'm not going to bother doing all the bricks there, if I don't need to. That's why there's gaps in them. And now, the bit that I just can't be bothered to do ever. Oh no. Oh no! Not that. You can do it again from here as well though. That bit's just hell if you don't do it like this. Am I going to make it? Oh my god, that was close. Now let's hope I don't die on the other side. If you do that without using that, then you're just a masochist. Oh well, let's just take the hits and then heal again after. Thanks, Sniper Joe. Here we go, let's get out the bubble. Don't know why bubble makes you grey. Should make you a different shade of blue. <clears throat> oh my god, it just gives me terrifying feeling about fighting alien Dr. Wily. Oh my god, wow. I'm whizzing through these bosses. I feel like I should have played on difficult. This is way too easy. Which Mega Man is this? We're on Mega Man 2. I finished the first one. But it wouldn't let me change the title on YouTube, so it still says Mega Man 1. Oh, we have a message from Dr. Light. I don't know why he's telling you that, because he's already there on the screen. Hey, it's a message from me. Now we got item 1, which is like a little platform for you to stand on. Which you only really need to use in like two parts of the whole game. Um, I don't remember where to go next. Let's do Woodman. One of my... Mm, yeah, actually, apart from Dr. Wily 1, this is uh, probably my favourite music. I'll let you listen to this while I finish eating. I regret not putting it on difficult. It doesn't change anything about the stage design. That's something else they fixed in, fixed in Mega Man 9, actually. Uh, Blue Tone on YouTube says, I bought and played the first Mega Man collection on PlayStation, and Rewind came in handy. Uh, the thing is, with those rewind things, I try not to use them because then you're not actually improving at the game. You're just, like, brute forcing your way through it. I get it from a accessibility point of view, but in terms of actually enjoying that feeling of progress, I feel like it does more harm than good, honestly. 
I know, maybe, maybe that's an unpopular opinion. But if if there's, like, the option, or I, I either tend to ignore it or turn it off. Because, like, I don't know, that yellow devil fight in Mega Man 1, if I'd only ever played Mega Man 1 with the rewind feature, I never would have had the satisfaction of learning the boss pattern and, you know, the, the joy of actually being able to defeat him on my own, using like my own skill and figuring out for myself. Does that make sense? Like, I understand why people use it, because they can be difficult if you're not used to it. But at the same time, if you just practice for a little bit, then... I don't know. Maybe I'll just stop talking because I don't want to offend anyone who uses Rewind. Right, you need to turn off the Metal Blade here because these chickens don't die from it. Well, they die from the Mega Buster, no problem. And I have no idea what um, Woodman's weakness is. Sometimes I use save dates if I'm in a bit and, like, dying would reset you really far back. <clears throat> I guess it's fire. I guess it's heat, man. Let's try it. Would make sense. Oh, yeah, he's one that you charge up. What do you think about that, charge shot haters? It existed in Mega Man 2 as well. And it exists in Mega Man 10. They reused it for, like, Solar Man's attack. Kind of. Except that charges a big, like, ball of light above your head. Yay, now we have a leaf shield. So I think we've only got two left. Which should we do? Which one should we do? Let's do Flash Man and we can get annoyed at the uh, beams of light. Let's see whether I remember where they come from, because the first time you encounter these, I feel like this is definitely a stage that you would ruin by using the rewind feature. Huh, I still remember their patterns. Yeah. You'll see why a bit later on, but basically, I feel like if you, um... Uh, should we get that? Nah. Shall we? We can do it here as well if you use item 1. There we go. That's what item one's for. Dun, 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 dun. And also for skipping through the ceiling. If you're a cheater. It's so annoying that once you've used an item, you can't go into the menu and deactivate it straight away. I forgot what I was saying, though. Ow! I thought I was safe, though. Yeah, you get to avoid that annoying guy there. Watch me just fall down anyway. Hey, we made it. <clears throat> oh yeah, wait until Wily Stage 1. I feel like, yeah, a lot of people think Mega Man 2 is the best because of that music alone. I can't blame them. It's awesome. God, I hate these enemies so much. At least they actually attack a little bit faster than... So we just ignore him. What's up there? Energy tank. Let's, uh, let's go get it. We don't need to go through the, the whole stage. We can just do that. They didn't think of that, did they? Do we have another crash bomb? Yeah, we got one more. Oh no, we don't! Oh, gotta go the long way around. Okay. Wily stage one is the best. Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt, Wily stage one is just an absolute classic. You'll hear it in a minute. Oh, I should have refilmed the crash bombs there, never mind. Alright, we have reached 
I think I did these the wrong way around. I thought that Flashman and Crashman um, were different. Oh my god, these bosses are just a joke. Maybe I'll try using the Metal Buster. Mega Buster. Just to um, add a little bit of challenge. <laughs> that was ridiculous. So stupid. Well, we got the Time Stopper, the most pointless weapon in the game. The only reason you would actually use it is to get past those annoying spikes in Metal Man stage. And we got item 3, which is basically a worse version of item 1. I don't understand why item 3 exists. I feel like they just needed to make a third item. They're like, oh, we can do that. Okay, why? Basically it just bounces off the wall and then bounces up the wall. Alright, quick man, this is the stage that I meant people would use Rewind on a lot. <clears throat> You'll see why. You'll see why very soon. Oh yeah, let me show you what item 3 does and why I think it's so pointless. It just crawls up the wall. Whereas item 1 you can put it anywhere. You can use flash stop, but I want to show you what the level is like normally. <clears throat> you won't see the issue just yet, but hold on. It begins. If you touch those it's instant death. Oh my god, that was close. How many E tanks have I got? Wow. Fun fact. See these guys here? I'll leave this next one to throw the flames. That frame there, where he's throwing those out of his head, that was on the wall in my game design class in college. And there was loads of like game screenshots and posters and they were saying what games they were from and that said Mega Man <clears throat> and I actually oh my god yeah that's why people use rewind I actually crossed I actually wrote the number two next to it and my teacher got annoyed with me until I corrected him and said it was from the wrong game he probably thought I was being stupid Let's do this properly. Ah. It's still scary. There is a bit here where you can go on the right and pick up some items if you're fast enough. Here. But yeah, I'm not going to bother. Oh my god, that's always scary. Nearly done now. Yeah. How dare they get it wrong? In a game design class. You've probably never even played Mega Man. The, um, the Sniper Joe shots are so much slower in Mega Man 2. Unless that's just because I'm playing on easy. I feel like it's a lot more... It's thrown out a lot more health as well. Again, I have no recollection of what his weakness is. But actually, let's just go and mega bust it. Although this is quite a difficult one. He's very, very fast from what I remember. As you would expect with a name like Crickman. But I forgot. We're playing on normal, so every boss is a pushover. Oh my god. That's something they did a lot better in Mega Man 4, is um, improve the difficulty of the bosses a lot. Like if you fight Skullman in Mega Man 4, he's just insane. And that's definitely one of my favourite Mega Man uh, Robot Masters ever. Right, anyway, we are on to Dr. Wily. We've got through the eight Robot Masters. Are you ready for potentially the best music in the entire series? There we go, wiggle his eyebrows again. He's upgraded his spaceship this time. Let's give it a, a new lick of paint. It's now blue instead of pink, I think it was in the first one. Or purple. And he actually has a whole castle. He didn't even have any sort of cutscene last time. Dun, dun. Here we go. Ready? I'll be quiet. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot if you jump, it goes back down again. Why? Heard the, heard the song all the way through now. Such an epic song. Now, coming up soon, epilepsy warning for anyone who needs to know that because... For some reason, they thought it was a great idea to make the background and the sprites and everything flash insanely at the top of this level. Now, this is a really annoying section. With a kind of silly design. Look at this. I mean, it's not that difficult, but... Oh my god, unless I do that. There's nowhere to farm for... to replenish the items. Oh my god, that was close. I almost didn't make that then. Let's get the metal blade back out, just in case these guys come close. Okay, I think now is the time to get out the quick boomerang for the first time. There we go. Kind of like Cutman's, Cutman's weapon. Now, epilepsy warning. In a second. Ready? Why would they design it like that? Oh my god. <laughs> That's worse than the banned Porygon episode from Pokemon. But there we go. Wily's dragon is down. Radoski, hello, hello. Love the song, yes. Everyone's been saying what a masterpiece that song is. And we get to hear it again! And what do we need to refill? Item 1, I think we use that more than item 3. Or at least I do. Although we need item 2 here. We haven't used that one yet. I'm dead. Oh my god. I'm making some silly mistakes. Need to refill that item too. And we also need the crash bomb if we're going to take the first exit here. Are you going to give me health as well? No. Nope. I got a little bit there, I think. There we go. That's more like it. Now, let's see whether I can grab onto the ladder properly again. Oh my god! I've never seen him jump down there before. That's better. Oh, I missed an E-tank. You can! Oh my god. What's the point of them being there if you can just jump over them? We missed a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god, we missed everything! Why did I think that was the right way to go? It's been a long time, honestly. Um, just to be safe. I know I can probably do it without that, but whatever. Do -do 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 -do. More item farming. What do we need? Oh. 
was about to say I don't get I don't even care about getting hit, but So annoying that you have to do this. They should just instead of this, they should just give you an item that refills everything at this point. Because, like, obviously, that's why you're here, to waste time doing this. Uh, do we need more crash bombs? Maybe. Alright, I think we're good to go. We can just pick the uh, ammo up for this one as we're going through. Oh my god, let me move! see the chain coming through the bottom there. And again. In some ways I feel like these wily stages were a bit rushed as well, especially the next one with the uh, moving platforms. You can tell they basically just ran out of time. Yeah, Mega Man 11 had some something you could buy from the shop, I think, that automatically uh, refills whatever weapon you've been using. Right, another really super easy one. I think the bubble is the right thing to do, but let's see if we can just use the... Uh, use that one, actually. Yeah, two hits with that as well. The original idea behind this boss, I read about this online recently, as the enemies come out from the floor there, those parts of the floor were actually going to disappear. But they thought it was too difficult. So I'm going to try, let's see if I could survive. Yeah, I think so. I didn't actually leave the platform. Again, ah, my eyes. Again, Mega Man 10, 11's a modern game. Hmm, true. But so are 9 and 10 as well, I guess, technically. 9 and 10 are modern games. They had something. Um, like an M tank that refilled everything. Alright, now for potentially my least favourite Mega Man level. I haven't even used any tank, I don't even think I need them. Yeah, potentially my least favourite Mega Man level. And music, like, what a downgrade from Wily 1 and now you get this. And there's a really cheap looking shark there for some reason. With no shading or anything. Just like a Microsoft Paint chart. And this bit looks scary, but it's really not. I was going to be really upset there if I missed. Discount Dive Man. Yeah. Dive Man's stage is awesome. As a kid, Dive Man was actually my favourite level and I would just get to that point and I would set up my tape recorder and just record the music from Dive Man's level because I loved it that much. Right, here we go, the Guts Dozer! Uh, again, I think you use the quick... there it is, quick boomerang. You can stand up here and shoot it into his eyes. Oh my god, I should not have been playing on normal. Look at that! Literally dead in like three shots. This is ridiculous. This is too easy. And not even in a fun way. <clears throat> uh, the next boss though is another really annoying one and another reason why you can tell that they were running out of time. Well I have no idea how to do it in one go either. Basically you just have to destroy a bunch of blocks with the bombs. But there's uh... <clears throat> there's more bombs than there are blocks. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I think someone said this is also the issue with the X games as well, the grinding sections. Also, starting the levels off really easy and making you restart from there every time gets a bit frustrating too. Wow. 
there is disappearing floor somewhere there. Should we go down there and... Oh, if we're allowed. Go and get the one up. How many have we got? Four. The only bit that's actually caused me an issue in Mega Man 2 so far has been Airman's stage itself, just because I hate those heads with the little spikes that pop out the side of them. Ah, I just find fighting them so boring. Now, I do not remember where the floor disappears here. There's probably some telltale sign, but instead I'm just going to do this. Because I can't be bothered to figure it out. And again there. Because that's actually dangerous. Look at those giant spikes underneath. Oh, I almost glitched it out there. No. That's how you get to that one. I remember that. Ah, except I'm stuck on this side now. Um, what actually happens? Oh, I've just filled up all my E-tanks. Let's get number two back, in case we need to use that in a bit. I think we might do. Don't fall through the floor, don't fall through the floor. I don't think you can there anyway. This bit kind of reminds me of Skullman stage when it transitions from the bottom to the top. <sighs> now, this bit is just boring. This whole section. All of these bits, really. There are ways of using the damage from the enemies. Look at this. It's like they just gave up at this point. And again here. There's three of these in a row. Look at them. They're just a mess. Why? This isn't fun. There's not even any enemies here. You just go up there and then wait for it to come back. It's not clever. It's not fun. It's just a pointless screen. And every time you die at the boss, you have to repeat this. And you will die at the boss because there's not enough. This is easily my least favourite level in any Mega Man game. The whole thing screams like, oh, I've got like a day and we need to make a whole new stage. What can we do? It's just boring. And then you get down here and you got to do it again. Honestly, this alone kills any joy that Mega Man 2 brings. And the fact that it takes up such a big part of the game because you have to do it all twice as well. It's just awful. I don't know why. And this bit as well. You're not prepared for how stupid this bit is. You just can't dodge that one at all. All these guys. Look at all this filler. There's nothing going on. It's not interesting at all. And then you have to come through here and just destroy these walls slowly. And then do it all again. And obviously, because you've set the bombs off, you can't even... Um, Oh yeah, the other thing is, eventually you'll just die anyway because they'll all shoot you. If anyone knows a way of doing this in one go, please let me know. Look, now I'm out of crash bombs. All I can do is just stand here and get killed. Come on. And then we have to do the whole thing again. And fill up the crash bomb meter. There's no point using any tank there because you can't do anything. Literally. Look. Once the crash bombs are dead, are down, you actually can't finish that fight, so you have to kill yourself. As far as I know, anyway. There's no way of actually getting through that gate. Or hurting the boss with anything other than the crash bombs. 
Um, I accidentally went back on the ladder. If anyone knows a way of doing that in one go, please let me know, because every time I play Mega Man 2, I have to do that twice. And it's just the most frustrating thing ever. This is why I'm always so confused when anyone says Mega Man 2 is their best, is their favourite game in the series. Unless they never got this far. This is easily worse than any of the small annoyances from Mega Man 1. Look at this! So pointless! Like, ooh, you get to jump over a bit. Wow, exciting. Oh, why did that have to spawn up there? Like, ooh, now we have to wait here again. this one which is just unavoidable you can't jump over it and if you go back he respawns back with all the health that he had before oh yeah and if you go too close to the edge of the screen here of course they respawn as well and they jump back into the same place tell me in what world is any of this good game design if I'd have designed this level in my game design course at college, I would have failed. It's that bad. <laughs> Seriously. <sighs> Shit, it's not even fully restored. Now all of those have been destroyed. I don't think we've got enough. We're going to have to do it three times. Look, now we're going to have to go and do all that again because there's still one left alive. And just to prove it, I'm going to try everything else. Oh my god, that is the most stupid weapon in the entire game as well. Look, you can't do anything now. And it doesn't even stop this boss. Maybe that fully powered? No, nope. everything else just bounces off it. The walls don't respawn because if they did, you would never be able to get past this level. There's just not enough. There's not enough um, ammo to be able to get rid of all the walls and kill all of them. So now we have to do this for a third time. You can skip this one by jumping and getting hurt at the same time. I'm not gonna risk it. I should have just been a bit more patient and picked up all the weapon energy. We wouldn't have to do it again. I think it is just padding, but it's not even difficult, like, once you've done this once, there's not really any chance that you'll die from it. Is there? Now we have to come down here and 
grind a lot. Look, if you do that and come back, there he is again. There he is again. There's literally no way to get past that. So the only bit you can grind is here. Finally. Need to do that a few more times. What fun. And yeah, if you get pushed back too far, you, you saw what happens. grind in there instead. <sighs> oh my god, no. Oh, damn it. That's what I needed. There's one, yay. Alright, now we can go back in. Or do I try again to get my health back up? Is everyone enjoying this? Right. Now we can go back in. Ready? Now you have to tactically take all the bombs out. Now all the walls have gone. So, one. And dodge. I don't know if you can dodge it at first. Wait for that. Get out item three to jump up the wall. Wait here until you're allowed to go back into the weapons menu. And last one. Thank God for that. Now we can actually get through to the next stage. That is painful. I don't usually have to do it in three goes. But yeah, if anyone knows how to get through it in one, like, is it even possible? I don't know. I've never been able to get through it in one go before, because I just don't think there's enough. The, the entire stage is negative content, yeah. That is how it feels. Oh my god, we haven't even got some of the... <clears throat> some of the weapons. But a lot of these bosses are pretty easy anyway, so that one is heat, I remember that. Oh, it's actually a bit harder. I just remembered we've got loads of E-Tanks. I have no idea how to dodge those leaves, by the way. I've never been able to. Oh yeah, new for Mega Man 2 as well. Mega Man 1 didn't do that. In Mega Man 1, they trusted you to be a good gamer and made you get through them all in one go. This was... Crash... Crash Bombs. If I remember right. There's no spikes on the ceiling this time, at least.
Oh my god, I'm nearly dead. Two down. Who's next? They should have their symbol above them. Quick man. Uh, I do not remember. But not that. Ah, that's it. Hey, easy. Uh, Crash Man again. I can't remember. Bubble? Was that? Uh, I don't think that's it. Let's try. You can tell I play Mega Man War one more. That seems to be doing something. Yeah, you can tell I play Mega Man 1 more than Mega Man 2 because I've remembered all the uh, boss weaknesses for that one. As long as we save some bubble for the. Uh, oh, we can just use the boss draw on him. I don't think I've ever killed Metal Man with anything other than Mega Buster. It looks challenging, but it's really not. You need to find a thing, but it's highly specific. DNN station scene. DNN station theme. You mean the music? Oh, a scene. I can't remember. I remember I really like Mega Man uh, Battle Network 3, but I don't remember much about it in particular. Air Man is such a pushover compared to the stage. Wow. Oh, we've only got one left. I can't say. Good excuse to replay the game again. Uh, I'm not going to use a bubble because... Um, you need bubble for the final boss. And again, it's one of those things where if you run out, tough luck. So it's just good to know that ahead of time. It's the only way to kill Wily in his weird alien form. Uh, I think it's Metal Blade for this part. This is basically more of the same from Mega Man 1. Just easier. And more flashing lights too. Oh my god, the amount of black and white flashing lights is ridiculous. And now we have a, another really weird, pointless section that drags the game out for no particular reason whatsoever. That should have just flowed straight into the final boss, but instead you have this nothing level with just some weird drops of goo that come out the ceiling. I mean, I kind of like the atmosphere of it, but it's pointless. I guess it's just to make you feel a bit scared before you get to the boss, but look at that! It's literally just... A random corridor for no reason whatsoever, and then for some reason Wily turns into an alien. The end. Most UK residents, football event of the decade. <laughs> True. Has it started? I don't even know when it's on. What's the score? You can tell how much I care about football. Everyone at work's probably going to be talking about it tomorrow. Is it on? Usually comes up on Twitter, doesn't it? Argentina versus Colombia. Oh, there it is. England versus Spain. It is currently 2-1 to Spain. Oh no. 
People are going to be mad. I've been watching speedruns of, of Mega Man 2 and seeing how people do this, just like insanely fast, is ridiculous. Don't worry, that's all the football talk you're getting from me. I hate this so much. So, so basically, if you don't get far enough, there's no way of getting any more bubbles. So you just have to stand under one of these drips and kill yourself. That's the only way you can get it to refill. Seriously, the last section of Mega Man 2 might be one of the worst final areas of any game ever made. Genuinely, I mean that. It's awful. Look at this. So pointless. And now, if I don't manage to kill him with that many bubbles, I just have to stand under those drips and kill myself three times in order for my energy to reset. time though. And look at this as well. For a final boss. They didn't put any effort into the pattern or the difficulty or anything. Like, even on difficult it's just this. Just one bullet at a time. You just have to dodge one bullet and it's he doesn't even move fast or anything. Like, where's the challenge for a final boss? There we go. Game complete. Sorry about that. I ended up complaining quite a lot towards the end of the game. And now you have this horrible noise. Listen. I don't know what's going on. And it just blows up. In a minute. And he just falls to his knees. What's happening? <laughs> Where was that bomb? He was an alien a second ago and there wasn't even any sign of a bomb. But there we go, that's Mega Man 2. It starts off good, and then it just takes a complete nosedive. Yeah, I think I think most people either have never got that far because they find it too difficult, or they just know the music. Honestly. Honestly, I might even say that Mega Man 2 is the worst out of all the classic Mega Man games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is, objectively. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming to that realisation now. You'll see when we get around to playing Mega Man 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. I don't know. I don't rate Mega Man 7 very highly, but that's kind of a different game anyway. I'd say out of the NES games, yeah, Mega Man 2 is the worst one. Roast me in the comments. All you want. All you Mega Man fans out there who say it's the best one. I don't know how you can think that. Apart from the music in some stages. And then you have some stages like Quick Man, and the music's just horrible. So, again, even the soundtrack overall isn't great. Like, when we get to Mega Man 3 and 4... The music's much better on the whole. I feel like people just didn't give the later games in the series a chance. They're like, oh, they're all the same, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to play anymore. get to watch all the random names. For some reason they still weren't giving themselves proper names anymore. Yet. Is the stream over or am I switching games? I haven't decided. Should we play Mega Man 3 as well? I need the toilet but 
Then we can play Mega Man 3. In fact, what I'll do is, while these credits are rolling, I'm just going to put my... Unmute and just run to the toilet quick. 